Welcome to Troy's story. On Christmas Eve of 2018, I had a mishap where I tripped off of a sidewalk. Yep, I've stepped off of a sidewalk about half a billion times, and on Christmas Eve, I took a misstep, and I ended up, ended up rupturing my left quadricep. One of the scariest days of my life, because as I looked down, I could see my kneecap swelling, and I thought that was in my blue jeans. I thought that there was an, a bone coming out. Fortunately, nothing was broken, but as I said, it was a ruptured quadricep. And I never thought that I would recover from that. So you can see the picture of me in the hospital on January 16th of 2019, about to have surgery. And of course, I've got Peter Rabbit next to me because, hey, didn't know how I was going to end up. So if I was going out, Peter Rabbit was going with me. Uh, and I also have my fingers crossed because every time I'm next to a doctor, when it's dealing with me, I always got everything crossed. <laughs> just for good luck. Uh, but I was scared to death going into surgery, just like a bunch of us, many of us are scared to death with this Corona virus thing going around. But we'll, you know, I, 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 I know I keep harping on this, but we will get through this. It's tough times. You know, we all go through tough times in life and it's scary, but it's okay to be scared. But you got to have hope and faith that you'll get through this. After my surgery, I started going to physical therapy. And my physical therapist was this young, young kid named Tim. I shouldn't call him a kid. I'm guessing Tim's like 30, 31 years old. But when you got 20, 25 years on somebody, they're still a kid to you. But Tim, he always had faith that I would get better. And I did not believe him. I couldn't even tie my shoes. I couldn't bend over. I couldn't get my my left leg in, in the car to go to work. It was a struggle. I had to get people to help me to get in my car. Uh, and, I, and I know that tons of you have gone through far worse things than me, but I'm just trying to give perspective. I did not think that I would be able to, quote unquote, go back to normal. But I did, and Tim had faith in me, and I had hope and faith in Tim that he would get me better. And he did. And I'm so thankful and appreciative that, you know, I did get better. And now I can, I can tie my own shoes, and I can run again. And I never thought I'd be able to do that. But it was a lengthy process. It took me about six months before I was able to run again. But then again, I was just happy, you know, I was taking it incremental steps, taking it one step at a time. I was literally happy that I could go up and down steps. So I'm just asking that all of us, you know, we, we think long term and not short term and that we will we will get through this. And you got to We got to keep our heads up and we got to remain positive and it's OK to be down. But uh, as mama Mama told me a couple of years ago, you're not an egg, you don't crack. And I love that line and I steal it and use it as often as I can. So let's all keep our heads up and let's remain positive and let's not crack. <laughs>